Hi guys, it's Ray. Um, today we're going to do just a basic fire tumbler. It's been a while and um, some people might not know how if they're new. So what I've pulled, and it doesn't really matter what colors you use, is just a bunch of oranges and reds and yellows. Um, some of this is just, they're almost empty and I'm trying to clear my shelf a little bit. So, and I did grab the red, orange, and yellow from my T-Rex pack because they are full compared to a lot of what was on my shelf. So, we're going to start by applying a coat of epoxy. And I didn't pull a black or a brown yet. I'm going to hold off and see where I'm at before I add any black or brown. But I do typically add a little bit of black or brown. So this is a 30 ounce curve from Maker Flow. It's just hit this with the torch to smooth it out a little bit and heat up the epoxy a little bit. That way they'll be less moving later. So I'm just going to start dumping on color. And if I get one that's completely empty, I'm throwing it to the trash, not putting it back on the shelf. Uh, the Dijon I like to use and the Ember I like to use from Tim Holtz, it's kind of a weird color, but it gets that smoky yellow color in the long run. So I've kind of been substituting actually using a brown with the Dijon lately. And this one is Lemonade. And I do have some new yellows and oranges coming, so I'm especially trying to clear that part of my shelf. Not even necessarily new, but replacements. Because I use black decals on my fire tumblers, I like to keep the base pretty vibrant. So this is the ember. Which is, you know, obviously a fiery red, orange. I'm going to use a little bit of crimson. Oops. Or maybe a bunch. And then I'm going to start coming back. Whoops with color again. This is why you wear gloves when you play with inks, unless you want ink all over yourself for the rest of the day. This is the Dijon again. And I'm going to come back in with, I'm just going to use the T-Rex yellow. And 
And I do have a couple little fish eyes opening up. Don't worry about it. it happens. So, I do have a big white spot down here. So I'm going to hit this with a little bit of heat. I'm going to tilt it up, tilt it down. I'm kind of looking at it to see how much it's going to flow with no heat. Because I really do want minimal heat on this one. It is already moving quite a bit because it's fairly wet. I do wish I'd maintained a bit more yellow. I'm going to set my heat gun to a very low heat. And a fairly low fan. Okay, so I'm kind of eyeballing it and trying to figure out if I can get some more yellow in here. And I think what I'm going to do is actually scrape off a little bit of the epoxy. I love how the bottom part looks, but I feel like this is um, too much orange. But I don't want to get into that section that I did like. And because I do have some epoxy left in my cup, I'm just going to blot that in. To replace what I removed. I want to blot over this um, fish eye. I do like the way the lacing and stuff is opening up in parts of this. It's a lot. It's thick right here. 
So I'm just kind of smoothing it out a little bit. I feel like there's always a delicate balance with these fire tumblers and I have actually gotten to this point and wiped everything off and started over again. And I'm trying not to have to do that here. Make sure this is the yellow, not the orange. And then maybe just a little bit more of the M or the Dijon. I almost said Ember. I'm just going to give it a tilt. I don't really want to put a lot more heat to it. I'm much happier with the overall color balance now. some like weak fish eyes in there. A little baby one here. I was thinking about hitting the torch to it real quick, but I feel like I can still smell a lot of the ink and that I will set the fire tumbler on fire if I hit my torch to it just yet. I love what some of this is doing. So I think I'm just going to let it go. Um, I do have a fairly intense decal that can go over my least favorite place. So there's always that. But I'm going to torch it real quick now that it's had a couple minutes to evaporate just to smooth it out a little bit, not to really move anything. I don't want to touch the bottom though. There we go. Um, not my best fire tumbler, not my worst, but once it's decaled up, it'll look great. So 
I'm going to let it dry and then we will get to that. Okay, so it is time to get decals on this. I did have one little thick spot right there, but it's not going to be a problem in the long run. So I'm actually going to start on the back side on this one. No, this is the front side. I feel like I could have sized these guys down a little bit more, so I'm actually going to cut them in between. Yeah, so this sets at three. And if I do it on a 20 ounce curve, I go down to like 2.75. Okay, we're gonna get the coat of epoxy on this. So that is it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one.